What's going on, Barrel Project? So you want to shoot outdoor target nationals. Hmm. So what do you do? Where do you start? Who do you got to join? Where do you go? So this is just a quick, we're going to call it a coaching vlog because that's really what it is, to walk you through the process, explaining what the tournament is, how it works, and what you got to do to prepare. First thing you need to do is you need to go get a membership to USA Archery and join um, either to be non-affiliated or affiliated. Hey, you could always join as part of Grass Hollow Archery. You let me know. We can talk about it. Um, but you need to join USA Archery and have a membership through that. Once you do that, you get act, you get a um, you get a number, and then you can get logged into what's called Sport Eighty. This is the backside of Sport Eighty that you're looking at right here. This is my Sport Eighty account. I already did a search for Target Nationals, and you can see here that there's a couple of different ones. There's 2022 USA Archery Joe Ad Target Nationals. That's in the Jack Allen Sports Complex, Jack Allen Recreation Center. Um, and that's where the um, JOAD, Junior Olympic Archer Development, is held in Decatur, Alabama. You, If you're just an adult shooting senior class, you don't have to worry about that. But kids are allowed to shoot in the senior class. Don't forget that. Um, we have USA Archery um, Traditional Target Archer Nationals. You have that going on in, looks like, Gilroy. I've never been there. Not something I will be going to this year, but... Um, if you decided to go there, there's, there's one listed, um, you have your mixed team. So that mixed team, 2022 target nationals mixed team. If you are in on a team, so I'm on a team with one of the shooters I coach Maggie Brensinger, we are the mixed team. We will be entering this and then registering for it, um, to shoot with, uh, to shoot against all of the other mixed teams. That all happens simultaneously as this tournament is going on. You have the target nationals team. That's, that's the same gender uh, men's teams or women's teams. There's three to a team. And, you know, we could talk about um, the formats with those in a, a little bit as well. And then below you see this down here, USA archery target nationals, 2022 U S open that's where you're going to enter. We're going to open it for purposes of this coaching vlog, but you know, just to, that's where you're going to go to be able to register for the event and see the, all of the particulars about the event. So mixed team and nationals team or the mixed team and target nationals regular team, that's all mixed up where you're shooting um, with teammates under a clock and you have to rotate through the arrows you shoot. Um, so you're like, you know, so you step up and, and, and maybe I'll even do a vlog, um, you know, explaining what mixed teams is and what you got to do and so on to try to get more people to do it. So they're showing up a little bit more comfortable on how to maybe even prepare for it. But, you know, you're, you have like, we'll talk about the mixed team, for example, and it's really the same as the regular, the regular team. You have a certain amount of time to shoot a certain amount of arrows and mixed team, you shoot two arrows a piece and you have to rotate so you go you stand behind the line and when they hit two blasts to go up you can go up and stand at the line but you cannot touch your arrow you have to wait until the shoot the the single blast of the whistle goes for you to pull your arrow out and put it in your bow you have two minutes for the for you to rotate twice and get all four arrows off um and the mixed team is your standard amount of time um, and it's the same principle, except there's three of you and you're each shooting two arrows a piece for six total. So just to give you an idea, and obviously you can see it's in Greater Chester Valley Sports Complex in Malvern, PA. My um, coaching companion, Cindy Bevilacqua from Middletown Archers, is responsible for bringing this event, thank you, Cindy, to um, Target Nationals to Pennsylvania. So I appreciate you, and I'm so glad that I get to save a little bit of money, a little bit anyway, but still got to stay over um, in Malvern. So it's it's a it's it's a great opportunity for Pennsylvania archers and, and New England area archers. But at any rate, so you know, we'll talk about the team stuff a little bit more down the road. Maybe even do an open podcast on it. But for the time being, let's just talk about let's register for this event. What do we got to do? Now, I'm not going to fully register right now, but I'm just going to go through it. You click on the event. Remember, you have your, you're a member of USA Archery. You're getting your 
um, you get your USA Archery ID number, and then you go into Sport 80, and boom, here's all the information. Starts at 810, finishes 813. Um, you have all of your disciplines, barebow, which is obviously why you're watching this, but you have compound, compound para, recurve, Olympic recurve, the whole bit. You have everything. Um, gives all the information, gives the contact information, the cost, and yes, early registration is 190 bucks. Um, you shoot a lot of arrows. It's more than worth it. Then you have your preliminary schedule, which you can download. You have your view of the entry list. So let's go ahead and open this up. And let's go ahead and open this up. We're going to open those in separate tabs. And you're going to look at this, you know, we're like, all right, well, let's see what our schedule is. So here you go. Here's the schedule for USA Target Nationals. And you get to look at, you have open practice on Tuesday. You have official practice on Wednesday, inspection, inspection and check-in, where you go to, so you're going to go to your respective field for practice. And you're going to be able to practice on the field you're going to compete on. And there's always a tent. There's always one tent, typically in the USA Archery format, that sits next to that field. That's where you will get your inspection done. You go in, you inspect your bow, they check you off all's well and good. You don't have to worry about it after that. Um, Thursday, you'll find your target assignments. Typically on betweenends.com, you can see them. Um, they will also be listed to the best of my recollection right here on Sport80. So you can see um, the entry list and where you're going to be at once they post. And they, they will also send out an email probably Monday night before official practice open or unofficial practice opens. Um, so you come to the first day of qualifications. Well, what does that look like? You're shooting six arrow ends. You have four minutes to shoot those six arrows. Your total possible score is 60. Um, you get two, sometimes three practice ends. It really depends on weather and what they got going on um, in, in situations where, we don't have warm up practice say we don't have a lot of practice say say there's lightning and storms and we can't get official practice day in or something like that sometimes it will add practice ends to it which is great if they do whatever um but they 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 will add a blank bill warm up they started that last year so you know 15 20 minutes half hour i'm not sure what the time frame is before this line starts. So it's probably gonna be before 745 or from 745 to eight or so, you will be able to um, go up to your target with your group and you can shoot blank bail right at your bail, no target on it. You know, there's like a, a, a line there, everybody stands there and shoot so on and so forth. It's a nice little addition. I appreciate USA Archery for doing that. But you go through and you get to go and do some um, some warm ups essentially before you actually start warming up for your round. Then you'll come up, you guys have all shot, so you know it's a two whistle blast, one to shoot, so on and so forth. You're gonna have two lines, you're gonna have four shooters per bail, and you get started. You get started in your two ends of practice, and then boom, you score. But you know, first day shoot 72 arrows, first day scoring over, and then after that, um, after those two days, um, you will continue to shoot. You may, I don't remember off the top of my head, so we we get paired with people that we shoot with the following day um so like those who shot the highest scores get everybody kind of gets jockeyed around um at some point in time i gotta double check that and i will if not you just go back to your regular target you score with the same people um but like I said, I'll verify that regardless, either you're shooting your first score and then you're getting peer grouped with people who shot near what you peered or what you shot um, that that first day the, on the second day, you shoot with somebody new or you stay with the same four people. I'll verify that. So then after that, you if you're shooting mixed teams, on that Thursday, you will shoot with your partner. You go through the mixed teams and it's, and it's just, um, you, they take your qualification score from that day, take those two people. And then you get ranked by you and your partner's score. You get ranked and then you shoot mixed teams matches. Those matches are head to head matches, um, by the set point system and you continue through. And if you don't know what the set point system is, you can watch the episode 56 of the bearable project. We actually, talk through like how the set points worked and stuff like that essentially you shoot head to head 
if me and Maggie shoot against somebody else, me and Maggie um, happen to shoot a higher score, we get two points. If us and our opponents tie, there's one point, and it's the first um, to six. Um, that's the way that works. So, at any rate, and then let's see here. Friday, you got your blank bill warm up again. You shoot your second qualifiers, um, and then this will be the um, the end of the 137th outdoor target nationals at this point in time. So the person who the top three who finished the qualification rounds, that's what determines your national champion. Understand it's not the U S open. That's a separate internal tournament that's built within this event, but your national champion is actually the highest score at the end of these two days. Um, it looks like they're doing awards that Friday, which is cool. I'm glad that they're doing it that way. That's great. And then they're going to proceed and boom, you're going to start your official team eliminations right then. Again, team eliminations are based off of your cumulative score from the two days. If I do recall, they take you, they peer group you then in, into the, 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 uh, the bracket. And then you go again, shooting head to head for official team round, the team round and the mixed team rounds are absolutely probably some of the most fun shooting of the entire event make sure that you register for those and try to get a partner or if you're not if your first year you don't know people that whatever that's fine just come and watch because it is absolutely so much fun um then we get to saturday and this is where it gets a little dicey this is where it starts to you start to see some of that pressure kick in. The U.S. Open starts again, blank bit warm-ups, three practice ends. And then you go through your elimination rounds. And your elimination rounds are, again, you're peered um, accordingly to the bracket. And then you shoot head-to-head. -head. It's all set points. And you have to work your way up, you know. you got to beat everyone to get all your way through. Um, they take everyone, to the best of my knowledge, um, into this. I don't think they haven't cut it off yet. I think if we get too high, maybe at some point they will. I'm not sure, but it really doesn't take that long. And it, it works out pretty well. Um, anybody can catch a hot streak. You, but, you know, practice, you know, you're shooting three arrow ends versus six. Um, and, you know, it goes, actually goes pretty quick. It's, it's not too bad at all. Just come prepared and, and be ready to be ready to shoot. You get through those elimination rounds and it eventually it whittles itself down to four people and you're going to have a bronze and silver medal match right then and there. So at the end of Saturday, at the end of the elimination rounds, sort of like the at the end, the championship of the end, the people, the two people who make it to the gold and silver, silver uh, match, the gold medal match will go, they will stop and then they will get bumped to the live competition that's hosted by competition archer media both on facebook and youtube you can watch it there shout out to them you can go and um you can go and then come and stay there after the 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 matches are done the bronze medal match is sort of like the final match of the elimination rounds everybody's always still there at the end i kind of wish they did the gold medal match then too back to back because that would just make it so much uh, it would just be so much better a lot of times people leave at this point if they get done and they got to hit the road whatever but just be prepared um that's what you're that's what you're looking at here and um long story short you're you're going to see that bronze medal match happen right in front of everyone as the matches come down then stick around for a couple of hours and then come back and this takes like all day so this is like a two or three hour wait in between Go get something to eat, come back to the field and watch the gold medal match. We need as many people there as possible to watch this happen. And then you come back and then they start the gold medal match live on TV. That's how that works. Um, and that's really just the basic premise of what's going on with um, Target Nationals. You go here, look, hey, there's Chris Arcardo and all kinds of names. So <laughs> Connor Coffold, see that everyone? Cat's out of the bag. He's shooting bare bill Target Nationals. Um, check out and make sure that you are um you know where you're at and you'll see familiar names paul donahue chris garcia he was just on the podcast last night you see how it says unaffiliated you know it shows that there's there's not that many there's not many people elton wong he's a pa guy a bunch of other rick stonebreaker of course 
um, all these people here understand, you know, this list is going to grow quick. It's going to be a fun time. So this is how you get yourself registered, where to find your information. Then we look into competitive classes. Now, keep in mind, Joad Nationals is for the kids. This is for senior and masters. So you're, you know, here are your senior and master classes right here. You have your senior as any age can shoot in senior class. Um, you have your 50 plus, 60 plus, 70 plus, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then don't forget your dress code. Basically, it's no open toed shoes. Um, you know, you're, you're allowed to have leggings for the ladies. You know, camouflage clothing is only disallowed for broadcast and live stream metal matches at national events. Note to everyone, that's always been a point of contention in the, bat, in the past. Um, uh, must present professional athletic appearance um, on the field. Torn, ripped, or heavily soiled clothing articles are not allowed. Um, so all you redneck hunters out there, well, I mean, I, technically I'm a redneck hunter too, but you just, just come dressed at least decently, you know, or you're going to need a pair of shorts. A couple of things also just to remember um, with this event um, with nationals, come prepared for weather because every year we get some kind of weather. It never fails. Um, a couple of years ago, we shot in some like crazy rains and sideways diagonals in your face and whatever, um, you know, come with the proper shoes, come with the proper rain gear, come with everything, be ready for it all. Do not wait. Um, you know, don't buy stuff there. Mistake I have made in the past um, and, and practice in that stuff too. practice in those environments. Also remember there's no breakdown this year. Um, um, I'm pretty sure that's going to be official for this, this round. Um, there's no breakdowns. You got a spare bow, have it ready, be ready to go with that extra bow. Um, I, for one, will have an extra bow there this year. Without a doubt last year, I did not this year. I will. I've had a breakdown before it happened in indoor nationals. Um, it cost me probably a top five finish and I do not want to go through that ever again. I will forever have a second bow. Um, so that's about it. I mean, this is a quick one. This is just to show you the ropes of what um, you got to do in order to get ready for this event, how to register for it, what to expect. Um, I, I can't really think off the top of my head if there's anything that I missed. Um, but if you have questions, um, post them to the comments. If I need to follow this up for like a second a vlog in regards to this information and how to get signed up or stuff like that. If you have questions, we'll help you out, but you know, check this out. That's what you do. That's what's going on. Again, remember if you're a master's 50 plus, you want to shoot senior, you can shoot senior. Same for the kids. If you have 16, 17, 18 year old kids, as long as they can get to that 50 meter range, they can shoot senior class if they want to. Um, just keep that in mind and, and remember, so the links to these events, everything will be in, in the comments on YouTube um, and on well, pretty much Spotify and everywhere else. So you can find all the information and, you know, the, the, where the link to click to register um, the rules, whatever you need to find, it's all going to be right in this post. It's a one-stop shop. So you can check it out. All right. That's it. That's your USA Archery Target Nationals, whatever, to make sure that you know how to get registered and help you guys get signed up. And hopefully we have more bare bow shooters than ever. I think we will. Um, our goal is for bare bow to outgrow Olympic recurve. I hope you can help us with that. If you're going, see you there, say hey, um, and good luck. <laughs>